Well, I have something with messed up families, man. I'm like searching for them, want to be a part of them. I think hey, they with, they have money at least. I mean, that's I know. Coming here too. And in this one, it's like I don't come from money, but I'm trying to get in the family with the money, you know. Welcome to the Greyborn. I'm Elena, new nanny. I'm moving into the staff quarters. Say hi. Since his mom's accident, just needs someone to help him enjoy being a kid again. So you're in the Greyborn, Elena. Yeah. Should we have told her? Why scare the girl? Many mysterious deaths happen in this building. Accidents. Do you know what happened to her? Why so curious? I've been having these really weird dreams. Hey, it's Jim Alexander with Real Talker. I got it right. It always get the wrong. <laughs> still got your Christmas tree up. I still got mine. My wife's actually taking the, the ornaments down right now. Well, that makes me feel a lot better. I feel I'm so lazy that I still have it up. <laughs> the effort it took to put it up. I just don't want to take it down, even though I'm like in a time warp, you know? You got two more weeks. <laughs> when it gets to February, that's when it starts to get weird. There you go. I'm glad. I'm glad I got that clarification, John. It makes me feel better. I'm not alone. So. <laughs> Maria, I'm going to start with you. Do you ever think like you're into like families that are really disruptive? They're like, <laughs> rich with old money. Cause this seems like a theme of your life right now. And at least your professional career, the last two <laughs> things I've seen you. It, I you know, I know I have something with messed up families, man. I'm like searching for them. Want to be a part of them. I think hey, they, with, they have money at least. I mean, that's I know coming here too. <laughs> And in this one, it's like, I don't come from money, but I'm trying to get in the family with the money, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, so, you know, I you've mean, seen both aspects of it in that case. Exactly. I've been on both sides of the spectrum. And I will I will say this, uh, life was a lot cushier when I was a Sandoval and I had a Porsche and a mansion to come home to right now. With the Greyborn, you know, I have a very, very, very small suffocating room and um you know and it's interesting <laughs> no but it's 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 it, i mean it's exciting i get to also be in very creepy places with creepy things happening all That's the time right. and john you're along for the ride right offering <laughs> whispering in the ear about things to do right i'm just here to help out and you know be there for whatever she needs <laughs> yeah i'm sure buddy <laughs> yeah really nice you made yourself seem like the the, the best guy ever you know in that case just selling like a supportive boyfriend <laughs> very much so well yeah you're kind of on an outside right i mean is, is it better to be sort of in the gossip not maybe fully involved in it mm, you know plausible deniability i i really love not not being able to know uh, the, the scheme early on you know I think um I think as Ginny and Elena get closer, lines will be crossed and and everything will get a little bit more blurrier. But uh, just trying to trying to keep that that professional personal relationship line is uh, Ginny's main objective and, until she really gets close to Elena and just wants to be pulled in more. She's kind of a juicy character in its sense too, right? I mean, did you find her when when you read the for the role too, like the script? Like, oh, there's there's elements of her here, you know, and there's not straightforward at all. Yeah, I think uh, she definitely got uh, <laughs> more complex as time went on. I, yeah. I just think Ginny is someone that I feel like everyone watching the show will relate to. I think she's, I love her. I think she's uh, in an interesting friendship, but she's not sure how to navigate. I think she's uh, also navigating, um, you know, just love and, and, and life uh, in, in this very stressful work uh condition that that she's in so i don't i don't know i just feel like everyone will be able to take something and experience something with her interesting you know marielle should babysitters be trusted in a sense too that's enough i have so many questions around your character because it's always something mysterious there's two sides to it it makes me think like you know um, she's spending time, you know, obviously she's doing her job, but there's, there's alternate motives here. Yeah. I don't know if she's the best nanny to be honest, <laughs> right. you know, she's kind of setting up Jasper in situations where she can also, uh, take advantage of the environment to, uh, <laughs> 
procure her own, uh, in, you know, goals. And I think that it's uh, definitely sus. But um, I do think that she loves Jasper and that she will do anything to protect him. But um, yeah, do I think she's the best nanny? No, 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 no. <laughs> But uh, she's really good at acting like she is. <laughs> well, that's say hey, as long as everyone believes it, right? I mean, that, that's part of the Yeah, the I mean, here. hey, I was a nanny as well when I was, you know, a struggling artiste. And um, I was definitely not the best nanny. But boy, <laughs> did I hook, line, sink. Like, let me tell you. <laughs> There's a lot of truth now that's coming out, right? The oh, yeah. Real life experiences make the best acting. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I, I just call myself method you know <laughs> there you go john what was uh what was the best part of working with this cast like what you guys did you guys have like group text hang out did you guys have i'm curious what were some of the off scene stuff that you guys did to, to kind of bond because i'd imagine you grow close together on a show like this where you kind of have to be um yeah yeah especially being in vancouver where with the exception of, of warren christie nobody is from there um so we're all mm -hmm kind of on location out there in another country. Uh, and I mean, thankfully we had a, a great cast and crew and we all got along. So that makes it, you know, really nice. And we were able to hang out offset when we could um, enjoy some of Amy Acker's cooking whenever she would so kindly host. Um, yeah. Any great, special yeah. dishes here? I'm going to ask her about Ask it. Mario. She, she probably enjoyed it. Oh, a lot I've like made some of her recipes. She has an incredible olive crispy thigh chicken dish that she does. It's chef's kiss. Interesting. <laughs> See, these little tidbits you learn along the way. That's it's really cool. She's such a great chef. She was like our like our mama. She would just like host us. She's the best. Wow. Okay. Well, that that's good. Anything else, John? That did you were going on about that? I just stopped at that. But uh, what was I going on about about her cooking? She makes hamburgers. She made good hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> well, and any other surprises that I've learned? That's a big one here. Amy's cooking. Uh, the director the, Jeff Reiner cooked one of the best steaks I've ever had. Um, I just remember food. Well, that's, that stays with you always. Yeah. Right? Food and whiskey, right, John? Yeah, that, I mean, that's all you need in life. <laughs> there you go. Well, I had a lot of fun watching you guys. I was pleasantly surprised about this show. You sometimes don't know how a show goes, but I'm sucked in after the first episode. That's always good. After the first episode, you're sucked in. It's oh, doing its job. hell yeah. I'm so, glad. I'm curious to see how it all resolves. I have a feeling after 10 episodes, there's going to be still way more to resolve. I don't think this wraps up in 10, but that's just my take. You might be right. There's more <laughs> coming. Well, thanks for playing along, guys. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to seeing more and hopefully talking with you on the next one. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Take care.